So we just got a big leak on iOS 17 and this is one of the features that most likely will be a part of this new software update. The ability to close all apps at once. But we're going to talk about this and more features that are expected to come to iOS 17 in just a bit here. First of all, we're talking about WWDC. 2023 which has just finally been announced by apple and it's officially taking place in june 5th to june 9th so on june 5th of course that will be a monday as always that will be the date where apple will present to us the new ios 17 and of course release the first beta of ios 17 to the devs as you probably know by now ios 16.4 has changed the way we update to betas so on june 5th once ios 17 beta 1 comes out you will be able to update only if you have a dev account which is actually paid and you will have to pay 99 dollars to actually have a one year like subscription for the dev account and then you can just go ahead and install ios 17 pretty easily head on to your settings general under software update go to beta updates choose the dev update and you're good to go you will get ios 17 on your device but june 5th won't be the day that you can install ios 17 if you don't have a dev account you will have to wait for the public beta of ios 17 which will most likely come sometime in july probably the first part of july will be the time when we get the first public beta of ios 17 that should be like five to six weeks from the first dev beta of ios 17 and if you want to install that all you have to do is go to your settings and select the public beta here and you're good to go you don't have to actually wait or actually you don't have to actually enroll your device anymore. You just select the public beta and you're good to go. So I was 17, the first dev beta on June 5th, probably in the first part of July, we will get the public beta and sometime in the middle to the end of September, we will get the public release of iOS 17. And now that we're done with WWDC 2023, let's go ahead and take a look at some really exciting news regarding ios 17 and the new features that are expected to come to this software update so we just got a big report from mark grooman who is our very trusted source when it comes to apple and ios related stuff so before before this report he talked about ios 17 not actually having a lot of new features and not enough big features to actually be an exciting update but things have changed so according to him initially they thought that it will be just like a tune-up release so it will basically just focus on improvements bug fixes and all that but it looks like things have changed so according to mark grooman ios 17 is expected to have several nice to have features and according to him apple is looking to actually check off several users most requested features now this is the exciting part you know that sometimes apple releases new features but some of them are actually not that exciting for users users always will require a lot of really nice to have features and if apple just checks off a few of those that will be really really great so this report by mark grooman leads us to believe that there will be an amazing update with features that we have required for a long time and in the meantime we also have some reports by ihack to you he's also a very trusted source he has been right on a lot of his predictions and reports regarding ios releases so again those reports and the report from mark grooman actually correspond with each other because those are actually features that he is reporting are actually features that users require and let's take a look at some of those now what you're seeing right here are actually tweaks that could be installed on jailbroken devices but these are some of the things that actually ios users enjoy and request a lot hopefully apple will just tick off some of those and these of course correspond to the reports by ihack to you first of all a new control center that will most likely look quite similar to the one that we have on mac os now this has been reported a lot of times to come to ios since like ios 15 but it didn't make it we still have the exact same control center which in my opinion could be way way better of course if apple takes a closer look to it and of course does some more work 
and it actually looks like this it would be amazing and of course the ability to customize these like toggles and all the sections here would be really really great because everyone will have their own preferences where they want each individual like toggle or slider to be on their control center so expect a new control center on ios 17 and also according to a hack to you pro that will be also changes on the widgets even though he doesn't like go into specifics but there will be changes on the widgets on the home screen as well and most likely even new widgets but hopefully apple will give us any kind of way to like interact with those widgets that would be really really awesome and we're expected to also get some changes on the home screen even though again we don't have anything specific but we have just like hints to what to expect to ios 17. now another feature that i know every iphone user probably will love to have is this one right here as we talked at the beginning of the video the ability to close all the apps at once from the app switcher now what you can see right here is a tweak that you could install from city on jailbroken devices and it allows it here to close all apps with a button you can also pin any app that you want on your app switcher or just reload all the apps even though i don't think apple will go as far as allowing us to maybe reload all the apps or pin the apps on the app switcher even though the pinning part would be really really great i think this feature is coming to ios 17 again even though apple has just released a statement previously talking about that the best way to actually manage your apps is not closing them from the app switcher but again this feature has been required for a long time now and finally we could see it happening with ios 17. and according to ihack to you there will be changes on multitasking as well and this one right here is what a grid view app switcher would look like now apple has made this change previously with the tabs on safari going from like a list view to a tab to a grid view would be actually really really nice i think this would be much much better something similar to the home screen pages that we get if we get this it would be much better you would see a preview of your app and see more apps at once on your screen that would be really really amazing hopefully this will be a part of ios 17 as well and again according to i hack to you there will be a lot more customization options now with every year with every new release apple is actually taking like customization to another step with every major ios update and hopefully this year will be the same as well and for the last part of this video we're talking about supported devices iphone 8 and the iphone 8 plus are probably devices that will be dropped this year i don't actually believe apple will continue to support these devices and most likely even the iphone 10 because those are devices that have been released the same year i believe it was 2017 the year they have been released and i would actually expect apple to finally drop support for those devices and then the iphone 11 will be the latest basically the oldest device that will support ios 17 even though even now some of the older devices even though they have ios 16 like the iphone 11 or the older ones they don't actually support a lot of ios 16 features like the ability to the live text feature they don't support that and this year i would actually expect apple to drop those devices from the supported list so that's pretty much it for this video guys ios 17 is looking to be actually really really interesting and hopefully very exciting with a lot of new features again if apple checks some of the features that have been required by users for a long time that will be an amazing update so that is it hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead leave a like if you did don't forget to subscribe for more i'll see you on the next one